Are you looking for a fun way to create unique background layers for your cards? Would you like to try something other than patterned or plain cardstock layers? In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a plain piece of cardstock and transform it into a stunning background layer for your cards. This technique is fun, it's easy, and it packs a real wow factor. Are you ready to learn how? Hey fellow crafters, I'm Terry and I'm nuts about stamping. I love sharing my passion for rubber stamping, scrapbooking, and paper crafting projects with you each week. I've linked to my blog below if you want to see lots of other paper crafting ideas. In this channel, I share tips, tricks, and fun ideas for using the paper crafting products that you have at home. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the bell beside it so that you'll be the first to be notified when my next video goes live. Now, let's get started on today's project, shall we? My card base is going to be smoky slate. I've cut it eight and a half by five and a half and I've scored it at the four and a quarter mark. And my card is going to be a landscape layout. Now to that, I'm going to add eventually a layer of bumblebee. And then on top of that, I'm going to add a layer of whisper white. But it's this layer that I'm going to use for this special technique. For the technique, I'm going to use my hammered metal embossing folder. If you hang in till the very end of the video, I'll show you two other card ideas using different folders, but the same technique. For this technique, you're going to need some kind of sponge brayer. I'm going to use Stampin' Up! sprayers. You get two handles in a box and you get four sponges that you can wash out when you're done with each color. Set them aside to dry and you're ready to go again. I am going to sponge soft suede ink directly onto this folder and that's what's going to pack this amazing wow. So you want to start with the Stampin' Up! logo facing up. You're going to open up your brayer and that's the side the back side that you're going to color with your brayer. So I am just going to apply my color lightly and then if I want I can go over and make it darker. So I would say the first time you try this technique do a light layer and then try it again using a little bit more ink until you get the color that you want for your cardstock layer. Now you're just going to go back and forth and back and forth. What you want to do is cover enough surface so that it will completely apply to your cardstock layer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my cardstock layer inside my folder and I'm going to make it nice and straight. Then I'm going to close the folder and then I'm going to emboss it. So I've got my die cutting and embossing machine and I'm going to run the full. And now what we want to do is that we want to finish off the card using this stunning layer. Before I bring in anything else for my card, I have a scrap piece of Whisper White and I'm just going to take the sponge brayer and I'm going to apply the leftover color on, that's on the brayer around the four sides of this Whisper White because I want to age it a little bit and you'll see that it'll add a nice, um, a nice touch to the layer. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm going to adhere this layer to the front of my embossed cardstock. I'm going to put it down like that and then I'm just going to let it dry for a second and then we'll add some elements to this layer. To add some elements for the front of my card, I am going to use the fabulous Hey Chick stamp set and the corresponding Chick dies. This used to be a celebration stamp set back, I think, in 2017. Stampin' Up! has brought it back 
between February and June of this year and they brought out some corresponding dies to go with it which makes this bundle so playful. Let me show you what I mean. So I have already stamped and colored with my Stampin' Blends and die cut out this hen. So I'm going to add the hen to the front of my card and I'm going to use my multi-purpose liquid glue to adhere the hen flat down like so. And then what I did was I stamped, colored, and die cut out three of the little eggs. There we go, I had trouble picking up the third one. So I have those ready to add as elements to my card. And I'm going to use some mini Stampin' Dimensionals to pop up these little eggs. I'm just gonna use one dimensional for each egg. And I thought it would be really fun to put two of these eggs really close to the hen, like they are obediently following behind. And then I'm going to put this final one by itself over here on the left hand side because this one is not really behaving as well which is why that hen has turned around to have a look as to where her chicks are and then i think what i'll do is i'll bring in my this is my light smoky slate and i'm just going to create a little bit of a shadow for these little, for the hen and the little chicks, like so. Just adds another little bit of dimension. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to use some more multi-purpose liquid glue to add this layer to the front of my card. So first of all, I'll put on I'll attach it to the honeybee and then let me bring in my smoky slate base like so. Let's try and get it centered. It's coming along quite nicely, don't you think? Now, one other touch. I think it would be fun to add a phrase to the front of my card, um, although it would be fine to leave it as is, but I've decided that I'm going to use the you're a good egg phrase. And I think what I'll do is I will use some of the soft suede ink. I could use corresponding colors, but I think that will be good. And then I have my circle punch. I'll just punch it out. And I think I will use two Stampin' Dimensionals, these mini ones, to attach the phrase to the front of my card. And I think what I'll do is I will stick it up there <laughs> like so. Pretty gorgeous, right? And so fun and playful. And this background just adds such a stunning layer, I think. Now, as promised, let me show you two other card ideas that I created using the same technique, but with different folders. A second card idea that I created using the exact same technique was using my art gallery bundle, which is the art gallery stamp set and the floral gallery dies. And then I used the painted texture 3D embossing folder. And this is the card that I created. I used my seaside spray and misty moonlight colors. And then this is old olive. And I think that's a beautiful textured background with a touch of color to it. 
And a final idea that I created was using my Sailing Home bundle, which is the Sailing Home stamp set and it's paired with the smooth sailing dies. And I used the Old World Texture 3D embossing folder. And all I used was Knight of Navy. And I created this stunning card as well. I have a question for you. Think of the embossing folders you have at home. Which one do you think would work best for this technique? Tell me in the comments below. Also, join my mailing list to get insider tips and ideas and to take your card making to the next level. If you want a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurements for this particular card idea, head on over to my blog, www.nutsaboutstamping.com. I'm Terry. I'm Nuts About Stamping. I hope you'll try a stunning background technique someday soon too. Bye for now.